Hello guys, welcome back to Revenge. We've got some very interesting developments happening right now. Uh, so, Lexi and Cass had a bit of a, a falling out. And, yes. and Lexi, is, Lexi is off to meet with a, a secret admirer. Or is she? Definitely check. Oh, Anon XYZ has got a name change as well. Uh, they're no longer Anon XYZ, they are now super snack sized. I can finally stop trying to pronounce Anon XYZ. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so you can now find them at Super Snack Sized at DeviantArt and uh, Super Snack Sized on Patreon. No longer Anon XYZ, now they are Super Snack Sized. Maybe we need to change our name. Leave suggestions in the comment, guys. What should Snide and Sniff change to? It's only going to end badly. Tch. What does she know? If someone wants to go out with me, I have to give it a chance. She walks out into it. This is spooky. Like, is going to meet some person you don't know in like a secluded spot in the late at night in the evening a really good idea? I wish I could have changed into a nicer outfit, but this is literally the only thing that fits me now. At least my hair looks nice. Why did I leave so early? Am I really that desperate for someone to like me? I hope he turns up. I can't wait to prove Cass wrong. She looks so, she looks so cute. I mean, Lexi always looks cute, but I don't know. She's just like, just little lost lady here. She just looks, I don't know. She looks precious. H hello This doesn't feel right. I shouldn't have come. What was I thinking? There's no way I could have a secret admirer. I should leave. I should... Russell, Russell, Russell. I mean, I'd, I'd run at that if, like, no s secret admirer is not going to be hiding in the bushes for crying out loud unless he's like, surprise, hello, I am here, your true love. Like, bro, no, Prince Charming doesn't burst out with freaking leaves on him. Lex. Well, that was what, not what I was expecting. <laughs> it's Sarah from the cheerleaders, but is, is she... Is she just the vanguard of the cheerleader's assault, or maybe maybe she is Lexi's secret admirer? Gay love triangle? Maybe. <laughs> you guys are overthinking it. I bet she just ruined the other cheerleader's hiding spot on impulse. Shh, let me have this. Who the fettuccine are you? So apparently that's Sarah or something. How? How do you forget Sarah? She's the best. I'm so glad you're here already. I was worried you'd get her too late. As she jumps into the the mountain of marshmallow that is Lexi. We wish we were Sarah right now. Look at how tiny she is. Sarah? Well, you're even nicer and softer and squishier than I thought you'd be. Fair enough. What are you doing here? Are you my... Did you leave me that letter? As she blushes. Who wouldn't want to be sent a love letter by this little cutie bun? I'm sorry, Lex. It wasn't me. It was... Stacy! Yeah. I'm so stupid! Yeah, we all saw that coming. We all saw that coming. <laughs> You're not stupid. She's obsessed with you. But the, the other cheerleaders aren't here, so presumably Sarah came to warn her? <laughs> I knew Sarah was on our side! I, I knew she was good! We have another member of the team. We've got a new ally! Sarah coming through for our ladies. Oh, this, this feels so good. This feels so good! Oh crap, gay love rumbles. <laughs> Who is Stacy? Is it Sarah's other identity? No! No, Stacy is the boss of the cheerleaders! Sarah is the nice cheerleader. Completely different person. Whoa, whoa, slow down. This is too much for my small cat bag brain. Yeah, this is a lot to take on at once. There's a, this is a big twist. Sarah might not be the brightest in the group, but how nice of her to give Lexi a big hug. But I'd stay weary just in case. The size different OMG I know, it's it's quite it's quite cute. Just just how how different they are in size. It's pretty adorable. She may as well be a secret admirer. She's out of control. We can't talk about anything without her bringing it back to you and how she's going to take you down. If I hadn't been able to warn you before they got here, she wouldn't tell us her plan. But it wouldn't be anything good. Why? Taking over my life wasn't good enough for her? She's got to ruin my new one too? If I had to guess, it's because she's got a big jealous crush on you that she can't handle, so she's lashing out like her feelings are your fault. Or she's plain evil. What do I know? That is pretty out there. Well, I mean, okay, most of this information we already knew. 
What is it with Sara seeming like, you know, now that she's away from the other cheerleaders, she's she's kind of seems she seems to have a bit more going on in in her head than we thought. Maybe maybe the her being a complete ditz is more of an act. She's actually uh, smart and and but um is Stacy really got a secret crush on Lexi? I I I I don't know. I don't find it that hard to believe she's just plain mean, but who knows? Maybe, maybe we do have another lesbian love triangle in this story. I'm sorry it's gone this far. I should have done more to stop her. I thought she'd calm down eventually, get bored and move on or something, you know? It's not your fault. As soon as she gets set on something, there's no stopping her. To be honest, I wasn't sure you'd even show up, since you seem so happy with your girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. Sure you do. Yes. Everyone knows it. Even Sarah knows that Lex is the only one who's unaware. You guys are so cute. You're together 24-7. You go on dates. It's not like with the guys you used to date. It was like you never actually wanted to be around them. If I had known you were that open, maybe I'd have left you a real note. I'm sure my boyfriend wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> and Sara as well! Who ever knew that innocent little Sara could be this seductive? My goodness! I'm starting you know my theory, no, I've got a I've got a new theory coming up, okay, you know? I think that that Lexi may be the only cause okay, everyone else has got a crush on Lexi, but Lexi seems Lexi is the only straight character in this comic. That's my theory. Like Lexi just enjoys hanging out with Cass and all the other girls, but all these other girls all are in love with Lexi, but Lexi is like the one straight woman in this comic. I, I mean, I don't really expect that to be the ending, but she's, she's so, like, just, like, not even comprehensive of the idea of, you know, being with another girl, so... I don't know. Also, what? What does she mean? What does she mean? I'm sure my boyfriend wouldn't mind! I mean, before we go judging Sarah, yes, it does sound like she's just che gonna cheat on her boyfriend, but who knows? Maybe her boyfriend is... Maybe he and he and Sarah have something going on where he's like, Sarah, you know what would be epic if you, if you like, cheated on me with, an with another girl or, or of anyone? Like, that would be pretty... You know, some people are like that, so maybe... Who knows? Who knows? Um, <laughs> I sure don't. To be honest, this kind of doesn't seem like a revenge thing anymore, and yet it's still called revenge. Yeah, no, at this point, at this point, it's just all the ladies fighting over Lexi at this point. We're just, just kind of a contest of who, who gets, who gets her at this point. I for real want to see Sarah and the other cheerleader girls drink that fattening smoothie so they start getting big too. But I kind of like that Sarah's so little next to big Lexi. I think it's pretty cute. I'm just being shady AF, but Lumfowl, that last statement about Sarah's BF killed me, Lumfowl. That look, I don't trust it. It's got my brain going wee woo. This is, this is just when you find out the cute fat girl actually is just friends with that other girl. <laughs> but yes, that is all the uh, that's all the pages we have so far. There's some there's some developments happening here. I, I mean, thank goodness Sarah warned Lexi and helped her escape from the cheerleader's trap, but. What does she do now? With this new revelation that everyone around her is a lesbian? I don't know what she's gonna do with this information. Well, we'll find out. Definitely check out, <coughs> sorry, Super Snack Sized on DeviantArt and support them on Patreon for revenge at least one month in advance. <gasps> we will be back tomorrow with another video, everyone. You have a good one. I'm just, I'm just still shooken. I'm just still shooken by all the revelations we've had here.